Bruce from Safari, and if you're following our bi-directional motor generator, this is our test rig that we've set up, and I'll step you through it. We're waiting for the 42 millimeter pulley down here, which is gonna have a three to one ratio. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that this motor here is a 15 kilowatt motor, and we're gonna run that at 12 and a half kilowatts. Now, most of the comments that have come to me have said they just don't believe it. That just, how, how can you get that much power out of something so small? And that's the idea of the test rig. So that's 15, that's 12 and a half max that we're gonna wind it up to. And what we've got over here is a Bosch uh, variable speed drive, frequency drive. Uh, we've got our Scotty sitting over here and uh, shout out to Mr. Victron, of course, and we've got it on the latest uh, GUI over here. And it's monitoring the battery so we can read the power in. We're also monitoring the energy meter here so we're gonna read the power coming out to here uh, when this is running. So this is gonna run at 15 kilowatts, three to one ratio. It's a maximum of 3,000. That will do a maximum then of 9,000 RPM. And it's gonna charge these batteries. Now, the problem I had is uh, those batteries there will take about nine, maybe 10 kilowatts. Uh, they can take more than that for a limited period of time. But I put the 5,000 inverter on here running the shop lights and shop loads. So if I turn it on, it'll put an additional load um, on the circuit of five, or four and a half, so I can have four, four and a half, plus the nine here, 13 and a half. You never know, we could be lucky. So that's a stopgap in case I don't have enough load. Generally on these test rigs, the biggest problem is the load. It's not really the uh, power. So early next week, once we get the pulley, uh, then we'll have that spinning up. The Scotty over here is gonna be driving it. And uh, let's see if we can get out of this the stated uh, 12 and a half kilowatts. How good's that?